Yo, what's up, guys? Um, if you haven't already, please follow my Twitter. I post some of my work here on Twitter, and yeah, I just need some support on my Twitter. If you can, please do help very much. Oh yeah, also if you can, please join the server. Uh, I'll put the the servers link inside the inside the comments or either the description, so you guys could join. And yeah. Let's get right into the video. Yo, what's good guys? And welcome back to another video. So today's video will just be kind of a quick video of me just showing how to make a uh, nice cartoony lighting inside Roblox Studio. And I'll also be showing some tips on how to improve your lighting. So first thing you're gonna do is just go over here on lighting. And for ambient, I recommend going for like a tannish color. Something like bright, not too bright though, but something like right there. And Next thing you do for the bottom is go either for like a light purple color or just a bluish color. And over here, or color shift top, what I recommend doing is actually going for like a lighter, a lighter uh, color, lighter blue color for it. So something like this. And also like I recommend bringing this up, both of these to not all the way up but just like something like this this i prefer just having it like around here just to um just to have like a nice a nicer look to it and same for this one not too much and now for the outdoor ambient what i recommend doing is actually going for a nice whitish color not whitish color uh something like this yeah something like this and it should look like this so far. Oh, I also for like, actually, oh. Also, I recommend bringing your shadow softness all the way up, just like this, around here. And I recommend just leaving the technology to shadow map. Also, for the clock time, I, make, I recommend going for 13.4. Because it has like, it, get, it gives a nice look. Um, Also, for the fog color, go for like um, a bluish color something like this and just bring it down to 2500 so you can see like a foggish color from all the way over there now what we're gonna do is go over here to the plus button click it uh, click color cl correction uh, color co cl correction effect my bad jeez um, now you're gonna bring a contract to around like this 0.2 and a saturation to around 0.20 so something like this um another thing that i actually recommend is actually putting sky boxes inside of your map so what i recommend going what, what i recommend doing is click on toolbox and you just look around to see sky boxes i recommend typing like cartoony skybox and you could you could just find any skybox you like and just import it i'll import a skybox right now i'll be back so right now i have my skyboxes imported i also just add these pets just to um just to kind of use them as a reference image to try to help me out with the lighting so i'm just going to bring this probably up much more or just bring it like around here probably be, like this would be good I'll make it brighter and yeah I, I messed up a bit on the light I recommend just making like more brighter colors so this is like a bit way too dark yeah it's probably this one that has the issue so what I recommend to actually improve your lighting is just mess around with the lighting and you should have like a good results when it comes to light so this one I'm just gonna make like a much more orange color So yeah, something like this. So your lighting should be like this, something like this. What I also recommend is maybe just mess around with some of these. One that I used to use a lot back in the day, so the blur effect. So the blur effect, what I just do is like bring it down to around here, not too much, like two, and it'll just have like a nice look. Like some, it just looks a bit blurred out. And yeah, 
that's it for today thank you for watching the video if you like to see more comment like subscribe and yeah i'll be posting more to my channel soon sorry for the lack of uploads um so yeah i guess that's it